In this video, we're going to have a look at a feature in TSM Studio to allow you to add your library, drive, path, and device class definitions just with a couple of clicks of the mouse button. This feature is found under Tools, One Click, Add Tape Library. Now this feature is currently only available for TSM servers running on Windows, but we are looking at also adding this for TSM servers running on Linux and AIX. So once that's been clicked, this brings up the Add Library Drives and Paths dialog. We can select what type of library we're going to add, either an individual, a library manager, or a library client, and the TSM server. So for this example, I'm going to add a library manager. This is the TSM server that I want to use or I've already added my library to and then I just click on get devices now the user ID that, running, that is running TSM Studio needs to have administrative access to this Windows TSM server so that we can pull all the information that we require from the registry so as you can see here from this identifier we've got an IBM 3584 library and it's given it the default name of changer zero so we'll just give this a more meaningful name and you also see for the down here all these drive names are called tape zero to tape eleven so we'll also give those names a bit more meaning So we just put a prefix in there and it will automatically number the drives for us. Also this is going to create your device class and it's worked out from the tape drives what kind of device class we should be creating and it's given it a default name. So we'll just leave that name. The other thing to note is some uh, tape libraries don't accept auto detect for the element so you might need to automatically fill those in and there's the auto fill element numbers feature that can do that for you so that's all it for setting up the next thing we just do is we just click OK this brings up the list of commands that are now going to be executed to create all those paths, drives, libraries and device class definitions so we just click continue So what we'll do now is we'll verify that we've created all those definitions. So under the um, configuration category, we'll find our device classes, which we've already got open up here. And under the libraries and volumes, we'll find our drives, libraries, and paths. So if we just refresh our device classes, we'll see that we've got our device class added same for our paths, same for our drives, and same for our library. And that's it.